you know, there's a lot of doom and gloom out there. A lot of it. And because we don't like con, we'll say I, it's prostructive. I, it's, uh, <laughs> there's some struction going on. Let's say. Um, <laughs> That's what I love about you guys. <laughs> the words. Uh, anyway, so again, the, the group of people, like we put the certification out there. We didn't even know it was even going to do anything, you know, uh, but it, it resonated. Maybe resin is like the ganja. There's resin there. It resonated with people, you know. It, 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 it mattered and it continues like we get people all the time still right and we well, just got still, back from we just got back from europe you know we're going back to barcelona in one more week and we're doing the regenerative panel we're doing all kinds of speaking uh, organic cup first one uh we're also going mm -hmm. back to the uk in august to do also uh, uh, this whole meet and greet and whole there's an awakening there's an awakening happening in Europe and to be honest like we went out there and we we're like wow there's a huge disconnect on herb and in Europe and you always hear about it we just have never been you always hear like oh you go to Europe like they don't like care they don't know there's too many people whatever it is of course of course there's people that care tons of them we met a lot of them i'm saying as a generalization it's not represented in the uh in conferences and it's not right representative as a mainstream which you have to understand to us is kind of surprising because europe is very advanced in organic farming for food and people you know demand organic food in in, in europe and countries have made incredible leaps towards you know, organic farming, they've also kind of moved away from biology in Europe by not allowing raw milk and stuff like that. There's a lot of areas where they, they actually have moved away from biology, but also there's a lot of organic food farming there. And you would think, hey, you know, I want organic ganja too. But when you go to Amsterdam, you there, you know, might maybe the gray area or, or a couple, one or two other places, Terps Army, you might be able to find some organic stuff. They would know. But literally no one, need, they're just like, what do you mean organic? They don't even have a clue how it's grown, who grew it. It's illegal to even know where it came from to begin with in Amsterdam. So they've created a disconnect there. But we went to Barcelona and we were just like, wow, there's a community of organic farmers here. And we got taken care of in a way in Barcelona that was just like really amazing. And then we started realizing, oh, these people in, in the Basque region and these people up in France and people just kept meet, reaching out like, hey, I want to hang out and show you my this medicine, talk about farming. Steve and Greenlife, they're with us. So we're going back out with them. And we're what we're seeing is a huge awakening. And I think we're going to talk about this year and one more year. And we're going to say, wow, now everyone's asking for organic ganja That's here right. in Europe. Where you last year, they were just like, what, 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 what? I smoke it with tobacco. Who cares? What, what, what? They're going to be like, oh, yeah. No, we totally need organic. And, you know, one good thing to see is we've been, we go to conferences and we've been, you know, doing like group festivals and all this thing since we've been together since the beginning of time. And I was never able to smoke anybody else's flower except for our own and now i can go almost anywhere and smoke every single bit of flower that's offered there that in and of itself is huge so when we went to spain everybody was like living soil everything and they hadn't even you know that's just within the last two years and there were some key disconnects, which we also helped with, which are going to be amazing. Like, wow, they're going to refine it again next year. Wow, they're hash making off the charts. Amazing. They love hash more than anyone over there in Europe. Yeah. So now they're just super on it. So, wow, the world is growing. Thailand, wow, opening up crazy. Yeah, we've got up. lots of Dempure cer certified farms over there and educators that are just doing amazing work right now. Uh, New Zealand, Australia, yeah, and and again, not just our work, Leighton, you're doing a bunch of stuff oh, every yeah. single day, all the day, you know, so it's, again, it's everyone's work here. We're just one one part of the spoke of the world. And, and, and I, think, I think the way you even set up the spokes, I mean, it, it's amazing because uh, I was I was reading some of the questions and comments there. Uh, Hill, Hillbilly Herb was mentioning that you know it's something to work towards to get six closed glue 
loop systems going on in your farm. But the beauty of, of the way you've set it up is, is that there's going to be other mentor farmers that they will be working with and getting six closed loops is, is something that they will surpass very quickly. And they'll realize, oh, oh I, can, I can get that closed loop with my water. I can get that closed loop with my worm castings. I can get that closed loop, you know, so on and so forth. And that's just going to be because you've created a network where, where it's peer-to-peer -peer mentoring. And, and I think that's, that's phenomenal. That's it. 